Understanding Acute Myeloid Leukemia in Children and Adolescents. Acute myeloid leukemia, or AML, is a cancer that starts in the bone marrow, the soft inner part of the bone where new blood cells are made. Acute means the cancer usually comes on quickly and gets worse quickly if not treated. Myeloid describes the abnormal white blood cells that build up in the bone marrow in AML. These cells are called myeloblasts. Leukemia means that the cancer starts in the bone marrow's blood-forming cells. AML is rare in children and teens. Each year, about 700 children and teens in the United States are diagnosed with AML. AML occurs more often in children under age 2 and in teenagers. It affects boys and girls of all races about equally. AML happens when the normal blood-forming cells called myeloblasts become cancerous, forming leukemic myeloblasts. These abnormal cells build up in the bone marrow, crowding out healthy blood cells. Most often, AML starts in cells that would normally turn into white blood cells. It may also start in cells that would normally turn into red blood cells or platelets. Normally, about 5% of blood cells in the bone marrow are immature blood cells called blasts. AML is diagnosed when blasts become cancerous and grow in number to 20% or more of blood cells in the bone marrow. Abnormal blasts can spread into the bloodstream and to other parts of the body like the skin, where they may cause bruising, gums, where they may cause swelling and bleeding, and spinal fluid. Like other cancers, AML starts when certain genes in healthy cells become abnormal. Genes play different roles in the body. Some genes are involved in helping cells grow, divide, and stay alive. Others keep cells from growing and dividing too much. Genes can undergo changes or mutations. Some mutations may be present at birth. Others develop during your life. Some mutations are harmless. Others can increase your risk for cancer or other diseases. Several kinds of gene changes can cause AML. The most common change is a piece of one chromosome breaking off and getting attached to another chromosome. Or a piece of a chromosome may be missing. Or there may be an extra chromosome that shouldn't be there. Understanding what genes are changed in AML helps doctors choose treatments and predict the patient's outlook. Recent studies have shown that the genetic changes seen in children and teens with AML are very different from those seen in adults with AML. This knowledge may help find new and better treatments for AML in children and teens in the future. Symptoms of AML in children may include fever, feeling tired, feeling cold, headaches, losing weight, losing appetite, bruising or bleeding easily, bone or joint pain, skin rash, and bleeding gums, or even no symptoms at all. Children and teens have a higher risk for AML if they are born with certain genetic mutations, have a brother or sister, especially a twin, who had leukemia, or are born with certain diseases that lead to a failure of the bone marrow to function normally. Doctors classify subtypes of AML by the kind of bone marrow cell that the cancer cells develop from, the kind of abnormal genetic features the cancer cells have, whether the patient has Down syndrome, and whether the patient had a previous cancer that was treated with radiation or chemotherapy. Here are some terms your doctor may use when talking about AML. De novo, when cancer occurs for the first time. Myelosuppression too few healthy blood cells in the bone marrow. Anemia, too few healthy red blood cells in the body. Complete remission, less than 5% of cells in the bone marrow are abnormal blasts. All blood cell counts are in the normal range, no signs or symptoms of AML. Molecular complete remission, even highly sensitive lab tests can't detect any cancer cells in the bone marrow. Minimal residual disease, or MRD, cancer cells left after treatment that can only be detected with highly sensitive lab tests. This is also called measurable residual disease. Relapse, when AML comes back after it's been treated. Resistant disease, when treatment for AML doesn't work. This is also called refractory disease. You may have more questions about what a diagnosis of AML means for your child or teen. Ask your doctor for a referral to a pediatric hematologist. These doctors specialize in treating blood cancers in children and adolescents.
and they work with a team of nurses and others who can answer your questions and talk with you about the best way forward for your child or teen with AML.